The idea of the title came from a lecture given by Richard Feynman, uh, a Nobel scientist, more than 50 years ago. And he described matter as being made of atoms which were jiggling, and uh, all of the macroscopic properties that we observe of matter are due to this uh, jiggling motion. So I wanted to take this idea a little bit further and talk more about molecules and, and, and what we are doing at this stage with this. Molecular dynamic simulations is a process by which we solve Newton's equations of motions for molecules. Now, uh, this can be a daunting task because of the sheer number of molecules involved even in the most simpler systems. So we have to resort to computers to solve these equations in a sensible time frame. Most of everyday experiences can be described by knowing the molecular nature of matter. So even simple things like water boiling or, or ice forming it can be explained by looking at the molecules and understanding how, how they behave. By looking at the molecular nature and the structure of molecules, we can actually understand what they will do and if they will behave in a certain manner or they won't. In molecular modeling, um, we rely on computers to solve our problems. So if we want to study more complex problems, we, just wait, we could just wait until we have better computers and more powerful ones. The point is that if you can understand the behavior of molecules, you can also understand how to modify them. You can reverse engineer molecules to do what you, we want them to do. The real challenge is to solve the problems today. So we have to modify our way of thinking and the way we solve our problems to actually solve the challenges of tomorrow today. Well, now I have the, the tools and uh, the, uh, the expertise to try to understand even more complex scenarios. Uh, Self-assembly, for example, is a very interesting topic. The basis of life itself is the, the self-assembly of DNA. And if we can harness this type of behavior, uh, we can really uh, explore new avenues.